to make it on foot from South to North America, there is only one way. It's one of the most dangerous routes to a better life. Connecting North and South America by road seems like a simple idea, yet the reality is far more complicated. The Darien Gap, a treacherous stretch of wilderness, stands as a formidable barrier not just for ambitious travelers, but also for desperate migrants and narcotics traffickers. The cash drain of organized Colombian cartels. Porters give parting wisdom. With political instability and social unrest in surrounding nations, the dream of a Pan-American highway remains just that, a dream. Join us as we explore why the Americas aren't still connected by a road. The pristine, unbothered green hides a dark, violent change. There's been a foot here for years. The growing migration crisis. In 2022, an astonishing quarter of a million people made the tough decision to leave their homes, journeying to Colombia with hopes of reaching safety and a new life in the United States. This historic migration marked the largest number of people ever to embark on such a journey in a single year. However, as we move into 2023, troubling signs indicate that even more individuals are attempting this dangerous trek, once again breaking records. For the countless men, women, and children undertaking this perilous journey, one formidable challenge looms larger than the rest, the notorious Darien Gap. This gap, a dense, impenetrable jungle situated between Colombia and Panama, poses a significant barrier. This wild expanse is not just difficult to navigate, it's overflowing with dangers including treacherous terrain, wildlife, and the threats posed by human traffickers. This challenging environment makes it clear why a road connecting the two continents has never been built. Those who dare to traverse this region must face the ultimate test of survival, showcasing both the desperation of their search for a better life and the resilience of the human spirit. Now, it's time for today's intriguing topic. An image has surfaced showing metal rods jutting out of a sheer cliff face in a remote, mountainous area, allegedly in America. Some claim this is part of an ancient defense mechanism, while others believe it's a hidden remnant of advanced technology. What do you think? The Dangerous Darien Gap Now we will know why this place is so dangerous. Situated between Colombia and Panama lies one of the most treacherous places on Earth, the Darien Gap. This vast stretch serves as a natural border between South America and North America, but it is notorious for being nearly inaccessible. Spanning over 100 kilometers from the Colombian town of Turbo to the Panamanian town of Yavisa, this region lacks roads, making it a true wilderness of dense rainforests and towering mountains. Civilization is infrequent, and the rugged terrain presents a formidable challenge for anyone daring enough to traverse it. Throughout history, only seven expeditions have successfully crossed this gap in four-wheeled vehicles, a feat that typically took months to accomplish. This staggering statistic highlights the harsh reality for those seeking to travel between the continents. For most, there are just two options. Walk through this perilous landscape or find a way to travel around it by sea or air. However, for the hundreds of thousands of desperate individuals fleeing their homes in search of safety, traveling by sea or air is often a luxury they cannot afford. Geographic and Climatic Hazards as we have learned that in just 800 kilometers north of the equator, the Darien Gap is a formidable barrier that presents some of the most challenging conditions on Earth, this remote region, flanked by the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, is perpetually bathed in tropical sunlight. Temperatures can soar to a sweltering 35 degrees Celsius, creating a relentless heat that tests the limits of anyone brave enough to venture through its wild terrain. The intense humidity adds to the discomfort, leaving travelers feeling parched and fatigued as they trek through the dense jungle. The landscape of this gap is nothing short of dramatic, with steep changes in elevation that define its geography. On the Panamanian side, the terrain transforms from valley floors barely 60 meters above sea level to soaring peaks reaching heights of 1,845 meters. These mountains are taller than the highest peaks in Australia, creating a rugged backdrop that is both breathtaking and intimidating. The dense jungles that cloak these mountains are thick and untamed, making any attempts to create paths or trails nearly futile. 
Within days, the jungle swallows any evidence of human passage, reclaiming its territory. Rainfall in this region is another significant challenge, with an astonishing average of over 5,200 millimeters each year. This makes it one of the rainiest locations on the planet. For more than 90% of the year, rain pours down, often transforming the landscape into a muddy and treacherous expanse. Rivers snake through the gap, and without any bridges, travelers must navigate these waterways with extreme caution. The rains can lead to sudden flash floods, especially during the rainy season from May to September, washing away tents and supplies, or triggering landslides that can bury everything in their path. Besides, finding safe drinking water in this environment is surprisingly difficult. Despite the abundant rainfall and numerous rivers, the lack of civilization means that water sources are often contaminated. Travelers can quickly become dehydrated, amplifying the challenges of this arduous journey. The extreme climate and geography present endless obstacles, but the dangers do not end there. The wildlife in this place poses significant threats as well. The dense rainforests are home to a variety of dangerous creatures, including venomous snakes, aggressive spiders, and poisonous frogs, all of which can lead to severe medical emergencies. Among these dangers, the mosquitoes and ticks stand out as the most formidable. Their populations are nearly infinite, and they carry deadly diseases such as malaria, yellow fever, and dengue fever. The risk of falling ill from these diseases is ever-present, making the journey through the Darien Gap not just physically challenging, but also perilous in terms of health. Workers tasked with the potential construction of a road through this inhospitable region would face overwhelming difficulties. The rampant diseases could incapacitate laborers, severely reducing productivity. The heat and constant rainfall further hinder any road-building efforts, negatively impacting vital materials like concrete and asphalt. The complexities of building a road through this gap are immense. The combination of harsh geography, treacherous weather, and dangerous wildlife creates an environment where success seems almost impossible. The sheer scale of the challenge reflects why the Americas remain disconnected by a continuous road. For those who attempt the crossing, the journey is one of endurance and resilience against overwhelming odds. As we started to know about this place, little by little, let's have a look about the history of the cartels. The Evolution of Drug Cartels The illicit substance trade in the Americas is not just a modern problem. It has deep historical roots that stretch back for centuries. While today's ruthless cartels may appear to be a recent phenomenon, their origins can be traced to a long-standing cat-and-mouse game between traffickers and law enforcement. This complex event began when the old world collided with the new in the early days of colonization. In the early colonies, import taxes served as a significant source of revenue for governments, but collecting these taxes proved nearly impossible. The main narcotics traded during this time included tea, tobacco, distilled beverage, and molasses, crucial commodities that fueled early American society. The birth of the United States was significantly influenced by British attempts to clamp down on these trades, igniting riots and leading to the famous Boston Tea Party. As the struggle against taxation grew, the foundations for illicit trading were firmly established. During this period, the British also engaged in trading addictive substance from their colonies in India into China, even waging two wars to maintain this lucrative trade. Ironically, the events surrounding these trades indirectly led to the emergence of the Mexican narcotics trade. Chinese immigrants introduced addictive substance flowers to Sinaloa State, feeding an unregulated U.S. market where illicit substance could be purchased like any other catalog item. At the time, it wasn't uncommon for people to visit parlors and drink Coca-Cola that contained contraband. However, the early 1900s saw a shift in perception as narcotics became linked to crime and racial stereotypes, leading to their prohibition alongside hard drinks. As the laws tightened, trading boomed, particularly for distilled beverage from British colonies. The colonial secretary at the time referred to the laws as an affront to the history of mankind. The increase in enforcement led to a surge in the trafficking of harder substance that were easier to trade and far more profitable than hard beverages. The end of prohibition didn't quell the demand. Instead, it shifted focus to a new battleground. In 1941, as the U.S. entered World War II, 
The government sought reliable supplies of addictive substance to produce medical morphine and hemp for ropes and parachutes. This led to a significant rise in cultivation. However, following the war, the U.S. pushed for international narcotics prohibition, prompting Mexico to launch its first military eradication program, while Peru outlawed contraband, pushing its indigenous coca industry underground. Chilean traffickers quickly adapted, using Cuba as a hub for narcotics and adult service, a paradise for those seeking refuge from stricter controls. This was a safe route for them indeed. The 1950s saw a dramatic shift when organized crime fled Castro's revolution in Cuba and migrated to the United States, bringing their illicit trade with them. The culture of the illicit trade transformed significantly in the 1960s as the narcotics gained mainstream popularity. Soon, Mexican producers traded to keep up with the burgeoning demand, prompting a response from the U.S. government. President Nixon declared a war on narcotics in 1971, tightening the southern border and pressuring Mexico to eradicate illegal plantations from the air. The fear of tainted substance drove Americans toward Colombian substance traded in via the Caribbean, allowing remaining Mexican traffickers to survive by forming the Guadalajara and Gulf cartels. Contraband began to gain a glamorous image and production surged in Bolivia and Peru. The 1973 arrest of major Chilean traffickers by U.S.-backed dictator General Pinochet paved the way for Colombian traffickers to dominate the market. Miami emerged as the main entry point for contraband, forcing out the early Cuban traffickers. However, as substance flooded the streets, a surge in crime and its association with minorities ignited a national panic, leading President Reagan to intensify efforts against trading in the Caribbean. As the cartels shifted routes through Central America, the U.S. turned a blind eye to its Cold War allies, who were profiting from the narcotics trade. The Gulf and Guadalajara cartels managed the final stages of trafficking into the U.S., but the homicide of a DEA agent in 1985 triggered a massive crackdown that ultimately splintered the Guadalajara cartel into regional factions. The early 1990s saw the collapse of the Soviet Union, allowing the U.S. to focus its attention on the illicit substance war. With increased funding and support, efforts to eradicate contraband production in Peru and Bolivia gained momentum. The major arrest of Pablo Escobar in 1993 marked a turning point as the Colombian cartels were mostly dismantled by the mid-1990s. However, this victory was short-lived. But why? Because contraband production merely relocated from Peru and Bolivia to the dense jungles of Colombia, becoming intertwined with a guerrilla war between the government and leftist groups. Back in Mexico, an economic crisis led to high unemployment and border flows quadrupled under NAFTA, setting the stage for Mexican cartels to rise in power. They quickly filled the vacuum left by the dismantled Colombian cartels, becoming the dominant traffickers in the Americas. The narcotics trade's evolution has turned into a relentless game of whack-a-mole for governments. Every time they strike down a cartel, new ones emerge to take their place. They were being, actually. This cycle of demand and supply ensures that the illicit substance trade always finds a way to thrive. As history has shown, each generation of traffickers becomes more organized and ruthless, learning from their predecessors' successes and failures. And their safe path is this dense jungle where a human won't walk alone. The legacy of the narcotics trade in the Americas is a complex story woven with threads of desperation, innovation, and tragedy. Despite the countless efforts to eradicate it, the illegal trade continues to adapt and flourish leaving a lasting impact on society, culture, and politics. The fight against this deep-rooted issue remains ongoing, with no clear end in sight. Challenges of construction in the Darien Gap Building roads in this environment where rain pours incessantly poses a unique set of challenges. The struggle to dry concrete in such conditions is just one hurdle. Asphalt, too, faces difficulties. When subjected to heavy loads and high temperatures, it softens and deforms, a common occurrence in the humid climate of the Darien Gap. These complications are magnified by the complex network of rivers that crisscross the region, necessitating the construction of bridges and tunnels. Travelers and construction crews alike must also navigate towering mountains and dense jungles, 
further complicating any attempts at road development. The scale of these construction projects is monumental. They require time, effort, and significant financial resources, which is why this place has remained untouched and wild throughout human history. Despite the ambitious efforts to create the Pan American Highway System in the 20th century, which spans from Prudhoe Bay in Alaska to the southern tip of Argentina, the vital 100-kilometer stretch of road connecting North and South America was never completed. As a result, the gap remains a wild expanse, a barrier that continues to thwart efforts to connect the two continents by road. The Incomplete Pan-American Highway The Darien Gap remains the last unconnected stretch of the vast Pan-American Highway system, while some may think that building a road through this challenging terrain is merely a matter of willpower, the reality is far more complicated. Completing the highway would be an incredibly expensive endeavor, and various powerful interests around the globe prefer the gap to stay just as it is, an almost impassable barrier between North and South America. This separation transforms the two continents into isolated islands, making land travel nearly impossible. As a result, most transportation between them relies on sea or air. Key players like Panama and the United States have their own reasons for wanting to maintain this status quo. During the 19th century, Panama was just a province of Colombia, and the daunting gap made it feel like an island within Colombia's territory. This challenging geography hindered Colombia's ability to assert authority over Panama, leading to a rise in the independence movement among Panamanians. The natural division created by the gap fueled desires for autonomy, ultimately leading to Panama's eventual separation from Colombia. The Strategic Importance of the Panama Canal By the early 20th century, the United States found itself increasingly drawn to Panama, driven by the ambitious goal of completing the Panama Canal. For centuries, ships had to navigate a lengthy and perilous journey around South America, traversing the treacherous waters of the Strait of Magellan in modern-day Chile just to connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The narrow isthmus of Panama presented a unique opportunity to create a canal spanning a little over 50 kilometers, allowing for a much faster passage between the two oceans. This canal would not only enhance America's naval capabilities, but would also significantly boost global trade efficiency. Once completed, the Panama Canal would be a critical maritime choke point, granting its controller immense strategic power. However, Colombia, which held sovereignty over Panama, was not likely to relinquish control of such a vital asset to a foreign power like the United States without a fight. Recognizing this, the United States opted to support the growing Panamanian independence movement. By deploying its navy to protect the territory from potential Colombian attacks, the U.S. effectively created a buffer zone against the Colombian military. With the inhospitable Darien Gap obstructing the Colombian Army's movements and the American Navy ensuring that no naval reinforcements could reach Panama, Colombia faced insurmountable odds in maintaining its grip on the region. As a result, Panama declared its independence in 1903. Almost immediately, the United States became the first nation to recognize Panama's sovereignty. In return for its backing and financial support to complete the canal, Panama granted the United States a perpetual lease on the land surrounding the canal. This area became known as the Panama Canal Zone, a region effectively under U.S. control. For decades, the United States governed the Panama Canal, enjoying full control over this crucial waterway. However, this arrangement was not without tension. By 1977, under the growing pressure from Panamanian forces threatening to take action against the Canal Zone, the Carter administration in the United States was compelled to negotiate a change. This resulted in a joint administration agreement over the canal that lasted until the year 1999, when control was finally handed back to Panama after nearly a century of American oversight. Even today, the Panama Canal remains a pivotal strategic asset for the United States. It facilitates regular and reliable access for ships traveling between major ports, allowing for significant reductions in travel time. For instance, vessels journeying from Los Angeles to New York save over 22 days by using the canal instead of taking the longer route around South America. Each year, approximately 14,000 ships navigate the canal, with around 70% of them being American vessels. 
Beyond its economic implications, the Panama Canal symbolizes stability in a region that often faces turmoil. Neighboring Panama, with its strategic waterway, stands as an oasis of order amid the chaos of Central America. To the north lies Costa Rica, a country consistently ranked as the most stable in North America, even surpassing the stability of Canada and the United States. This relative stability is crucial, as it ensures that the canal remains operational and secure, vital for international trade. The history of the Panama Canal highlights the interplay between geography, politics, and economic necessity. The challenges presented by the Darien Gap not only shaped Panama's destiny but also defined the strategic interests of the United States in the region. The completion of the canal transformed global trade routes and established Panama as a key player in international maritime logistics. Today, the canal continues to serve as a testament of the complex and often contentious relationships between nations, illustrating how geography can shape political outcomes and economic opportunities. Colombia's Illicit Substance Trade As we all came to know that the south of Panama lies Colombia, a country that has struggled with internal clash and instability for decades. The roots of this turmoil can be traced back to Colombia's fertile landscapes, which create an ideal environment for cultivating contraband. Now that's amazing. The coca plant, indigenous to the eastern foothills of the Andes Mountains, thrives in this region. As of 2022, Colombia was responsible for producing more than 60% of the world's substance, making it the epicenter of the global narcotics trade. To the north of Colombia is the United States, the world's largest consumer market for contraband. In 2016, the U.S. accounted for a staggering 37% of the global contraband consumption. This dynamic has turned the transportation of this illicit substance from Colombian producers to American consumers into one of the most lucrative businesses in the world. It has funded numerous rebel factions and cartels, allowing them to operate and resist the authority of the Colombian government. The Darien Gap, that we all know as a dangerous place which lies between Colombia and Panama, serves as both an opportunity and a challenge for these narcotics traders. This dense jungle region presents natural barriers that complicate the movement of illicit goods. However, the remoteness of the area also offers potential escape routes for those involved in the trade. The interplay of geography, economic incentives, and political instability continues to shape Colombia's complex relationship with contraband production and trafficking, making it a focal point in the ongoing battle against narcotics-related aggression. Opportunities and Challenges this notorious gap on one hand, its dense jungles and rugged terrain make it an ideal hiding place for traffickers and rebel groups, allowing them to conduct their operations out of sight. On the other hand, the gap's challenging landscape has long posed a significant obstacle for Colombian illegal traders trying to transport their illicit cargo to the lucrative markets in the United States. In the early days of the narcotics trade during the 1980s, traffickers found it relatively straightforward to move contraband to the U.S. They simply loaded their products onto small boats or airplanes and headed straight for markets like Miami, Florida. This method was cheap and effective, at least initially. However, the landscape began to shift as the United States strengthened its defenses. Coast Guard patrols became more vigilant, port security was heightened, and advanced technologies such as low-elevation radar and sonar were introduced. These measures made it increasingly difficult for cartels to export their products by sea or air. As a result, illegal dealers had to adapt. They shifted their strategies, opting to funnel contraband overland through Central America and into Mexico. From there, the illicits would make their way across the vast, sparsely monitored 2,000-mile border into the U.S. However, standing in the way of this overland route oh, is the formidable Darien Gap. To bypass this treacherous terrain, traffickers often resort to using boats for a short sea journey to other parts of Panama beyond the Gap. Once there, the illicit substance is consolidated and transferred to other traffickers who transport it overland toward the U.S. market. The challenge, however, lies in the risk of interception. Panamanian naval patrols are active and effective, routinely conducting some of the largest illegal busts in the world. This constant threat creates a precarious situation for traffickers, who must balance the risks of their routes with the demands of the market. This dense jungle remains a significant barrier to their operations, but it also offers opportunities for evasion and concealment. 
A pressing concern exists around the possibility of constructing a highway through this perilous place. If a road were built, it would create an easier land route connecting Panama and Colombia, facilitating the transport of narcotics directly into the United States. This new transportation reality could lead to an expansion of substance hostility, as various cartels and rebel factions would inevitably clash over control of this newly accessible choke point. The potential for increased conflict and instability would not only impact Colombia but could also spill over into Panama, creating a ripple effect of conflict and chaos. Geopolitical Implications of a Potential Highway The untamed wilderness of this gap, with its dense jungles and difficult terrain, has long kept potential threats at bay, safeguarding the country's reputation as a safe haven. If a road were ever constructed through this challenging region, it could fundamentally alter Panama's landscape and invite significant dangers. The ease of access could entice Colombia to revisit its historical claims over Panama, posing a risk to the nation's independence and the year-round reliability of the Panama Canal. The remarkable fact that Panama has managed to maintain its independence from Colombia since the early 20th century is largely thanks to the natural defenses provided by this remarkable place. This remote area has acted as a geographic shield, preventing the Colombian military from easily entering and restoring order during times of conflict. Constructing a road through this barrier could make it much simpler for Colombia to exert control over Panama, creating a scenario that both nations would prefer to avoid. Panama's lack of armed forces underscores its reliance on the natural terrain for protection, and the prospect of a road raises valid concerns about future stability. Moreover, the current global migration crisis adds another layer of complexity to the situation. As conditions deteriorate in various countries across the Americas, more individuals are seeking refuge or a better life, and this dense jungle has become an increasingly popular, albeit dangerous, route for migrants heading to the United States. For years, successive U.S. administrations have tightened immigration policies, making it harder for people to migrate through conventional routes by sea or air. With Mexico also increasing its visa requirements, many migrants are now compelled to travel through South America, landing in countries like Brazil or Ecuador, where entry is less restricted. As more migrants embark on perilous journeys through the Darien Gap, the potential for conflict and instability rises. The sheer volume of people traversing this rugged terrain to reach the U.S. border poses significant security challenges for Panama and the United States. The lack of resources and infrastructure to manage this influx of migrants raises concerns over public safety and the ability to maintain order within Panama. In essence, this gap presents as a critical barrier against external threats while simultaneously becoming a conduit for migrants seeking a chance at a new life. The delicate balance between maintaining national security and addressing the humanitarian crisis reflects the intricate geopolitical landscape in which Panama and the United States operate. The future of this region hinges on careful consideration of both security and humanitarian needs. The Crisis in Haiti and Migration Pressures In 2021, Haiti faced a crisis when the assassination of its president plunged the nation deeper into chaos. This turmoil followed decades of oppressive colonialism and the devastation caused by a catastrophic earthquake in 2010. As gangs have seized control of much of the capital, the Haitian government has urgently called for foreign military intervention to restore order. The situation is dire pushing Haiti closer to becoming the Western Hemisphere's only truly failed state. Venezuela has also been grappling with a severe economic and social crisis for over a decade, largely due to a history of misguided policies. Meanwhile, Ecuador and Colombia continue to struggle with lethality linked to the ongoing narcotics war. These factors have led tens of thousands of people from Haiti, Venezuela, Ecuador, and beyond to flee in search of safety and better opportunities in the United States. Unfortunately, for many, the only route available is a dangerous trek through the Darien Gap. Attempting to cross this treacherous place is no small feat. The journey spans approximately 10 days and takes migrants through a remote, inhospitable jungle devoid of civilization. There are no towns, no stores, and no way to call for help. The lack of cell phone service means that if something goes wrong, the individual is utterly alone. Simple misfortunes like a sprained ankle or a snake bite can turn into life-threatening emergencies without access to medical assistance. Worse yet, 
This place is fraught with danger from far-right paramilitary groups and illegal traffickers who exploit the lawlessness of the region. With no police presence, migrants find themselves at the mercy of these armed groups, facing threats that can escalate into aggression. The journey through this risky place is not just a physical challenge, it's a gamble with life and death. Those who attempt it are often driven by desperation, hoping that on the other side lies a chance for a new beginning in the United States. The Dangers of Crossing Acting as a daunting barrier, the Darien Gap hinders those attempting to migrate illegally toward the United States. Despite its dangers, it has not deterred everyone. Desperation fuels the determination of many to undertake this treacherous journey. In 2021, around 133,000 migrants braved the Gap, and in 2022, that number nearly doubled, with reports indicating that 2023 could see as many as 500,000 people attempting the same perilous trek. The migrants come from all corners of the globe, traveling from as far as China, India, Uzbekistan, and Senegal. Each person carries their own story of hardship and hope, driven by the promise of a better life in the United States. The harsh reality is that if the jungles were replaced by a safe, easily navigable highway, the number of people attempting this journey would likely skyrocket. In 2022 alone, U.S. authorities apprehended over 2.2 million individuals trying to cross the southern border illegally, a staggering number even with the Darien Gap acting as a significant obstacle. The continued instability in countries like Haiti, Venezuela, Ecuador, and Colombia pushes more people to seek refuge and opportunity elsewhere. Moreover, the accessibility of visas in some South American nations further complicates the situation, enabling more individuals to embark on their journeys north. As long as the United States maintains strict anti-migrant policies, the flow of people seeking safety and a fresh start will persist. This unsafe jungle, while a challenging and dangerous route, remains a desperate choice for many caught in the cycle of instability and fear highlighting the urgent need for solutions that address the root causes of migration. The Future of the Pan-American Highway The United States has little motivation to construct a highway through the Darien Gap, a project that could complete the Pan-American Highway. While such a road could provide easier passage for migrants seeking a new life in the U.S., it would also simplify the routes for substance traders and violent groups looking to export their operations into Panama. This potential influx of crime and instability could threaten not only Panama's safety, but also the vital Panama Canal, a key conduit for global trade. For these reasons, the Pan American Highway is likely to remain incomplete for the foreseeable future. The dream of driving from North to South America remains just that, a dream. Until geopolitical tensions are resolved, the challenges of constructing a road through this rugged terrain will continue to pose significant obstacles. However, the hope remains that one day a safe passage might finally connect these two continents, transforming the lives of countless individuals. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of why the Americas remain divided by the Darien Gap. The challenges and complexities of this uncharted wilderness reveal much about the struggles faced by those seeking a better life. If you found this journey intriguing, Give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more captivating stories.